everybody welcome back to another video so today we're gonna be talking about makeup brushes 101 now I picked the worst day to film this because I just washed my brushes so they're all soaking wet so I'm gonna be inserting pictures of the brushes I'm talking about <laughs> but I have written some notes about each brush that I'm gonna be talking about today and kind of like the basic function because you guys know I love my notes I will also be uh, taking everything that I said um, that I written that I wrote down and I'll put that in the description box as well so you can go and see that. But these are not like an order of like face to eyes, like things like that. These are just like randomly put in there. Obviously, like you can use any brush for any function, but it is a little bit better to be using it for its correct function. Like you wouldn't use a screwdriver to hammer in a nail, but you hit it hard enough, it'll work eventually. So like an example would be how the, one of the real techniques um, brushes that I have is technically a blush brush but I use it for bronzing because I just like how it's tapered to be able to fit perfectly. But let's just get into this. So the first brush we're going to be talking about is the fan brush. So this is a thin flexible fan shaped brush. It's a multi-purpose so if you have like a thicker one you can use it for bronzing. Um, if you have a thin flat one you can use it for like highlighting and it just disperses it really nicely. Um, so again it's just a nice brush that with the thicker ones are usually more thick and firm so it's really good for like getting that chiseled bronzer. Um, and then same with the uh, kind of like the highlight. It's like a thin flat little thing. I don't personally use them. I just felt like it got a little bit messy for me. Um, I like a little bit more on like the packed highlight brushes. But that is a great fan brush um, or a great option is a fan brush uh, to be using. The flat foundation brush. So this is a thin flat brush with a square end. Um, it's used as the, as the same as any sort of like traditional kind of foundation brush. I prefer to use this one to like kind of paint on because um, it kind of reminds me of like a paintbrush. So what I'll do is kind of like when I take the foundation I kind of just start to blend it outwards and then I flip the brush and do the same and flip and just kind of like X motions to make sure that there's no streaky um, or streaks. You really want to do like that back and forth blending motion and just really get it on there. I like to use these brushes for body painting. I find that they're the best for body painting in my opinion. Um, but they're really good for touch-ups around the fine lines, um, the eye area, things like that. Um, okay, so the foundation brush. So this brush has a flat, dense, soft, rounded end. It is best to use like a paintbrush, small back and forth brush strokes to apply and blend. Again, this one looks like the paintbrush, the same as what I just explained. Do the same motions, the same kind of idea. Um, and this will help just to create a natural airbrushed look. The flat top brush. So this is a dense brush, large and round, with a small cut um, flat top. And this can be used for pretty much anything, uh, for like foundations, concealers, any sort of cream products. Um, all you're going to do is just lightly tap it out, blend it, and give that nice airbrush look. But again, you can use it for any sort of cream products, but it's mainly used for foundations. Angled foundation brush. This is a dense flat brush with an angled end. It is thicker than a traditional brush um, and you use it in short back and forth motions, just the short little things. Back forth, back forth, back forth. This is going to give you the most flawless blend. Um, so that way you don't have sort of any streakiness, any lines, any cakiness. And this is going to give you a medium to light coverage of doing that. The powder brush. So this is a large fluffy brush. And this is going to be really good for putting on any sort of powders, wiping off powders, um, if you're wanting a large section of bronzer. Um, it is soft yet dense. It is used to sweep or press powder onto the face um, and is really good for blending because of the rounded shape. The rounded buffing brush. So this is a round brush with a very dense stiff yet soft bristles. It is used for buffing makeup onto the skin and in small circular motions. And it creates a perfect blend flawless. So all you're going to do is, again is just stipple that on. You're just going to small circular motions, blend it just like how you would when you're blending out your eyes. This is now the stippling brush. This is a long flexible dual duo fiber bristles, normally quite dense and soft. 
It is used with a buffing motion, creating small circles with each stroke to blend. So this you can use with any sort of cream products, you can use for your foundation, your concealers, things like that, just to really blend it in there. The Angled Blush Brush. This is a medium-sized brush that is dense and rounded with a tapered angled end, and has a perfect shape to define cheekbones. So you would just use this as you would for like a normal blush brush. Uh, start with the apples of the cheeks and blend upwards. You're going to want to sweep it so that you have that snatched upwards look. The Blush Brush. So this is a medium-sized round brush with soft bristles. It is a small size which allows for precise application. Um, it also allows for an easier blending. So you can use this to blend out any sort of blush. You can use this for bronzer and contours, but it's best just to use it for a straight blush. But you can use it for all the other things. Um, you can use it for applying concealer. Like these are one of like the, a lot of brushes again are like multi-use, but blush is kind of like what it's made for. Um, so again, you're just going to want to put it on the apples of the cheeks and blend. The Duo Fiber Brush. I love these. So this is a brush that has two different size bristles that makes the brush more compact at the base and finer towards the top. They come in many sizes. You're going to gently blend without um, bending the bristles. So you got to be very light-handed, otherwise you're going to bend and break the bristles. Um, and you don't want to press too hard because if you do press too hard, because it's a dual fiber, so it's got two different sizes of the bristles, it's going to leave streaky circular motions. So you can use this to apply foundation, highlight, blush, all that jazz. The Kabuki brush. So these brushes were made famous by the Kabuki J Japanese Drama Theater and were used to apply white rice powder over the entire face to accentuate expression and contrast the colorful makeup worn by the actors. So you can apply liquid foundation with this or body makeup. You can do, um, you know, any sort of blush. You can do powder. You can do anything with them. Um, they're really good for body makeup. I actually have one sitting right here. So the, I like to use this for like any sort of like body makeup, like my body shimmers, uh, body highlights, things like that, body bronzers. Those are perfect for. The concealer brush. This is a small foundation brush. Um, so it's like a small foundation brush. Great for packing on the product under the eyes to cover up or brighten. It is ideal for targeting small specific areas that you want to be concealed. Dab the tip of the brush into the concealer and gently pat onto the wanted areas. So if you're wanting to like just spot conceal, you could take that brush and just put it on and then tap it out. And it's really good if you're wanting to like really get that nice eye brightened. You're just gonna put a little right here and a little right there and it's gonna really just bring your eyelids up. The bronzing brush. So this brush is a long fluffy bristles and a dome shape to evenly diffuse your powder pigments. You're going to sweep it lightly. So what you're going to do with bronzers, you want it in like a three motion. So when you're doing your bronzer, you really want to find where your natural cheekbone placement is and apply right underneath that. And you're going to want to bring it up to your temple and a little on your jaw where the sun is going to hit. So kind of like a three. So you're just going to lightly brush, buff it up and buff, buff, buff in a three motion. The contour brush. This can come in many shapes and sizes as it depends on the shape and size for the density of the contour. And some of the bristles are cut sharp and straight across while others may take a more S shape. This is to hug the shape of your cheekbones. The slanted brush makes it more of the easiest as it blends precisely beneath the cheekbone, jaw, and forehead. You use this brush with blunt bristles and a sharp edge for a sharper sculpt or a softer slanted brush for a subtle sculpt. Um, you swirl the brush onto the contour, glide the brush back and forth below the cheekbones to emphasize your natural um, contours. I say I'm a lot and I go on rants and tangents and will never stay on topic and that is why I wrote what I want to say. So The highlight brush. The size of the brush depends on the level of the glow you want. Use a tapered brush or a fan brush with a long bristles for a more diffused highlight. Um, or you can use a brush with short bristles to make a super bright highlight. Um, sweep and blend the brush over your cheekbones, brows, cute bow, and anywhere else you want the light to naturally hit. So I like the more dome, like longer bristle brushes so I can get more of a dispersed color, a uh, dispersed highlight. But when I'm really going in for that highlight, when I'm doing like a look that needs the like highlight I need to glow to the gods, I will use a short like packed brush because that density is really going to pack that highlight on there and you're really going to have a lot of like opaque payoff. The flat eyeshadow brush. This is the key for getting an opaque even layer of color on your lids. These brushes are typically flat, 
rounded at the tip and dense so they can pick up a bunch of powder or creams to concentrate the color payoff. You're going to pat or press the eyeshadow onto your lid and then you'll blend it later. So it's kind of like the transition color. The eyeshadow crease brush. This blends up the powders for a really, a real super, ugh, a real sh sheer diffused finish. These typically have a tapered shape and soft fluffy bristles to blend. You're going to swipe the fluffy bristles into the crease of your lid with a windshield wiper motion and swirl it around at the ends of, at the edges of your eyes when transitioning between colors or blending multiple shades together. So as I did in multiple looks, um, you'll see that I take the crease brush and I blend it right into the crease, just back and forth, back and forth, small circular motions. And then when I put another color on the outer corner, go back in with that brush and again back in with that back forth, back forth, bringing it and dispersing it all together so that everything is nicely blended. The pencil brush. This smudges out your eyeliner and pushes your eyeshadow straight into your lash line and helps you precisely blend underneath your lashes. Use the pointed tip of the brush to gently smudge out your liner or your eyeshadow. The smudge brush. The short, super dense packed bristles make this brush ideal for packing on the pigment exactly where you want it and then smudge it out. The bristles are wider and flatter and then more precise um, is more precision pencil. It's great for the lash line for smudging. Run the brush along your lash line for a thick, smoky line or use it to diffuse the color. So when you put on like an eyeshadow or like an eyeliner, like a gel eyeliner or something, you would take that brush and you can just quickly disperse it and smudge it out for a more smoky look. The eyeliner brush. This has a tapered pointed tip but can also have a flattened and or straight or slanted bristles. Use this brush as you would to apply regular eyeliner, glide the product along your lash line. Getting down to the last three, the eyeshadow brush, or the eyebrow brush. This is a flat, blunt, and angled bristle to help draw brow hairs. Use this spoolie to shape your brows and then fill in the brows with the brush. I have done a Makeup 101 video. I'm not sure if this is going to go up before that or after, but if you're really wanting to know how to do basic makeup, um, this is really good to watch because it's basic brushes, and then you can watch that basic makeup 101 and put the two and two together. But just a quick thing, when you are doing your brows, you really want to keep the front of your brows nice and airy and light and natural, and then you can fill in the rest. Um, just when you're filling in your brows, try and keep it that the end is more filled in and that the front is more natural. The lip brush. This has a flattened, curved shape, but it is small to fit the cupid's bow. A lip brush will apply the color with precision and thin, even layers for longer wear. You're going to trace your lips with the lip liner and then use this brush and blend the inside edges to soften, then use a brush to apply the lipstick. So this is really good if you're going to be doing clients. You're going to do your lip liner and then bring that brush all down, just bring it, smudging it down, and then of course use the same brush to apply that lipstick all over. And the last one we're going to be talking about today is this the blending brush. This is a dome shaped or rounded shape, but they are used to blend and diffuse the eyeshadow. The fluffier the bristles, the lighter the application. All right, so that was just like basics. That was the basic brushes 101. Basics, what you're gonna need to know. These are like all you're really gonna need. Everything else is just the fancy stuff. All of it, like everything else is just like the fun stuff. Um, but this is just basic one-on-one -on -one if you are a beginner. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other brushes you think that I should talk about, any other videos you think that I should do, and comment down below anything. <laughs> As always, all my socials will be linked in the description box. I would love if you would subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to never miss another one of my videos. Um, I would also love if um, you guys would follow those socials and join those families, like, come on. But I will also be linking every sort of kind of brush that I can in the description with the detailed description of what I have come up with and written about it, um, so that you can go and read that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.